Hey, uh, my name's Graham, and I'm at uh, Rimmer's Music here in Bolton. And today I'm going to talk to you about Yamaha trans acoustic pianos and Yamaha silent pianos. So, what I'm sat at at the moment is a, a Yamaha trans acoustic. So, fundamentally, if you just come, up, come over here, have a look inside there, it is a real piano with real strings and real hammers. Right, so let's just start with it. The piano sound. Beautiful sound. And what it is, it's the piano that you can turn down. What you're actually hearing here is a digitally produced sound. And that sound can be used uh, on the piano to play as it's playing now and it uses the soundboard as the speaker to give you the sound or you can plug headphones in and play it through headphones and it's got fantastic features it it sort of melds traditional acoustic piano with modern technology and the way it does it is it connects to this app now we've just connected it to this iPad just to show you, but it works on Android and it works on Apple. Um, it'll work on your phone or it'll work um, on a tablet like you're seeing here. And what it enables you to do is, is give you extra sounds that you can use to play either independently or with the acoustic sound of the piano at the same time. So at the moment, we're just listening to the digital sound. So let's start with the CFX Concert Ground. This is the very best piano that Yamaha manufacture. It's over 130,000 pounds and it's a beautiful sound. Beautiful. Uh, Yamaha actually own Borsendorfer, which are another elite piano manufacturer. So you can get some of those other piano sounds in this piano now. So if I just do this, I'm in a, an app called the Piano Room at the moment. And now we've got the Borsendorfer Imperial, which sounds like this. To describe it, it's a, a more mellow sound, you might, you might say. But there's, there's lots of different sounds. But you can also change the environment that they're in. So, for example, you can see in the background there, I'm actually playing in a cathedral. And what that does, it, it creates the ambience as if you're playing that piano in a huge cathedral. So if I just tap the notes, what you get is this. <laughs> And you can hear it reverberating all around the room. Fantastic. And um, you could change it to a recital hall. If I just do a chord again. And you can hear that's a bit less. So, so far, we've just listened to a couple of the um, digitally produced sounds that are coming from this piano. But there's lots of them to choose from. So, we could press the voice, basically means sound. And you can pick different sounds. So we could have, for example, an electric piano. What are they? Or you could uh, flick to harpsichord. got organ sounds to choose from such as this and you can get layered sounds so for example you could have piano and strings But if we 
just go back to the piano for a moment and I'll just show you something that on the transacoustic is unique to any piano that I that I know of. We I'll pick the, the CFX concert grand piano. So when I play now, that's what you hear in the CFX concert grand. But it I mean I don't know if you can appreciate it over the video, but it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um the reason it sounds so good is because it's using this soundboard inside the piano as the speaker. And also, what can happen, I, I probably just need to show you this, is when you press the pedal down here, which is the sustain pedal, it takes these things off the strings and they're called dampers. So they stop the strings from resonating. So if I... Uh, release that and then press notes down. What will happen is other strings will do a thing called sympathetic resonance, so they'll they'll vibrate and give you an extra oh, it's an extra warmth to your sound. I'll show you. So at the minute I'm still using the digital piano sound, but just listen to what happens. So I'm going to play the digital sound and then I'm going to turn it off and just listen. So if I just do this. resonating and that's these strings resonating against the soundboard and it just gives an extra warmth to your whole sound so so there's the digital piano remember but it's getting enhanced by that soundboard and those and that string resonance so i think now is probably a good time to actually hear the uh, the acoustic piano sound so i'll turn that off it's now not on and the way that it does that is it puts a bar across the hammers and just stops them from hitting those strings. So if I put that pedal up now, what we now get is, if I turn that down, you are now listening to the actual acoustic piano sound. Beautiful sound. But we can do uh, more, even more. We can actually um, layer sounds together. So what I can do is I could have the acoustic piano playing, which I've got there. And then what I could do is I could bring in the digital sound over the top. And if, I don't know if you could hear that. We've now got piano and strings playing in the background. Brilliant. Now, in addition to that, oh, I, I could go on forever, but I'll try and condense it all down as quickly as I can now, because there's so much that we need to show you. You need to pop into our shop in Bolton uh, and let us let us show you through this. But if you look at this app, this is a free app. It's called Smart Penis from Yamaha. This is where I'm getting all the extra features from. It can allow you to pick songs. Now, you could play your own songs in and play them back and it'll show you the notation on screen. You get a massive library already free from Yamaha with lots of songs all, already in there. And there can be also audio, you know, like your normal MP3 tracks that you might get from, um, uh, I don't know, iTunes or somewhere like that, or anything that you've got in the phone that's, that's music. So if I pick that song there, it's now showing me the notation up on screen and I can press play and it will now Play this song for me. And can you see the bar going across so it's showing us where we're up to? Now, if you thought, I'd love to play that song, but that key's just a bit difficult for me, you can change the key by just doing this. So I've now changed that to the key of C. It's changed the notation, and I could play along with it. And by simple button presses, you could take in, by pressing this, you could take in and out the left or right hand, uh, so that you can play the left hand while it's playing the right hand or have it doing the right hand while you're playing the left hand. If you thought, oh, it's a little bit fast for me, that, well, you could slow it down. Or if you thought, well, actually, I'd like to do it a little bit faster, you could speed it up. 
And there's lots of songs I could, I could be here forever showing you those, but I'll just quickly show you another feature. This, these demo songs here are songs that have the audio tracks. So what that means, it, you, you've, um, you can have any tune that you've got on your phone, the, the app will pick up um, and the understanding of what the chord sequence is that it's using and show you what chords to play so that you could just play along if you like. So if I play this one, remember I can turn it down or I can turn it up or I can speed it up, I can slow it down, I can change the key. But this is interesting because what's happening now is we get some vocals. Or your favourite band. Oh, that's a bit difficult, that key. I can change the key. Do you notice it keeps keeping the vocals the same? The vocals are the same, it's amazing. So, uh, if you know your chords and that's the way you play, or you want to jam along with your favourite band, you can do that. Everything I've just showed you on this piano uh, is available as uh, through the headphones on all the silent pianos. And Yamaha, believe it or not, do a silent piano range to play all that through your headphones for every single piano that they do. And they've recorded everything in what they call binaural. Now what that basically means is they've had a, um, a mannequin sat with microphones attached to its head, I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's got microphones attached to its head, so that when you play, when, it, when they've recorded the sound that's coming from the piano, it does it, it's, it's, it's the best way I can describe it, it's like surround sound. So when you play this on headphones, or one of the Yamaha silent pianos on headphones, it, it feels like the sound's here. So what happens is, when I've seen people that have demonstrated it to people, said, oh yeah, just try it with headphones on. They open up their headphones and they, they're like this, they think, oh, is it actually coming from the headphones? It's that good. So through headphones, you will get exactly the same. So Transacoustic uses the soundboard, which will be the best speaker that you're ever going to get. The silent pianos don't play it out loud, although they do have a headphone output, so you could put it through speakers if you wanted to, but they're designed to play silently. This is an absolutely beautiful piano, but we'll just finish with a, with a little bit on the normal acoustic piano sound that this can give you, which is absolutely beautiful. absolutely amazing and fantastic um, and every home should have one but please come into Rimmer's Music in Bolton and let us show you through these and through the silent series and I am sure you'll be as amazed as I am. Thank you very much for your time hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.